Hello friends, I'm Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our video tutorial series on Tecla structures. So friends, in the previous video we had seen how to change our footing sizes as per our structural drawings and we had also imported our model from Tecla Structural Designer to Tecla Structures before that. So if you haven't seen those videos, please go and watch those from our playlist of Tecla Structures. So today we will insert reinforcement in our footings. So let's get started. So friends here you can see we have opened our foundation plan and our plan along grid 4. So we can close this now and since we will first work on the grid 5. So we can go to windows and go to view list and then open our grid 5. Then I can again go back to windows and press tile vertically. So these two windows have been tiled vertically. So now we'll insert reinforcement in our footings. So going to our structural drawings, we had three types of footings F1, F2 and F3. So let us go and check out its reinforcements. So F1, F2 and F3 have reinforcement of 10 mm, 10 T at the rate 175 center to center. That is, they have reinforcement of 10 mm at a spacing of 175 mm from center to center. So all these three footings F1, F2 and F3 have the same type of reinforcements. We can also see the plan of the footings and also its section. So we will apply the reinforcements as per our structural drawings. So let's get started. Going back to our model, first of all, we will apply reinforcement to these three footings. These are our F1. Now I simply go to our applications and then type footings. After typing footings, we can simply click on here pad footing reinforcement. I double click on it and then our pad footing reinforcement properties bar opens up. So after that, I will modify the properties as per my structural drawings. So here we can change the cover. Since it is a footing, we want to give a cover of 75 mm. So we will change the cover to 75 mm for all. Here also, this spacing also, we want to do as 75 mm. So after that, you can click on modify and then we'll go to our primary bars. For primary bars, we want a grade of FE500 and size is, let us go back and check our size. The size of our bars is 10 mm. So we'll insert 10 mm bars here. I can also select from this 10 mm. And then other things will keep as default and here we have the spacing. For the spacing we can go back to our schedule of footing. We have our spacing of 175 mm center to center. So we will insert a spacing of here 175. Similarly with the secondary bar we can also choose this as 10 mm. Ok and then we can give a spacing of 175 mm. If we want, we can also change its type. I'll simply keep this as default and then click on modify. So after that, we have our laser bars. So laser bars, let us go and check our drawing. We don't have any laser bars here. So we'll simply untick this laser bar option. No. So we don't need any laser bars. We'll simply click on modify and then apply ok. So after doing that, I'll simply click on here to apply my reinforcements. So as you can see that our reinforcements has been applied to our footings. We can simply go back and see this in our 3D view. I'll go to views and then switch to 3D or plane. You can go to our 3D view and watch this. See, these are the 10 mm bars at a spacing of 175 mm along the X and Y directions. So both directions, they have the same spacing that is 175 mm center to center and the diameter of the bars is 10 mm. Similarly, we can copy this reinforcement to all other footings. So I'll simply click on right click, interrupt. After that, I'll simply open my properties bar 
after that i will select my reinforcements so it is showing that one component has been selected that is my reinforcement has been selected so after that we can copy this so for copying this we'll go to edit and then we'll click on copy so after that we can copy this reinforcement to all the footings of size f1 as you know 1 2 3 these three footings have the sizes of f1 as we can see in our structural drawing these three footings have the sizes of f1 so we'll apply the same reinforcement to these three footings we'll simply click on this point and this point and this so let us go and check in our 3d view right click interrupt so our reinforcements have been applied to these three footings of sizes f1 now let us go and apply our reinforcements to our footings of size f2 and f3 so let us check its sizes in our structural drawing these one two three and four footings have the sizes of f2 so we'll apply the reinforcement there so we'll simply go to our applications pad footing reinforcements double click on it and you can see the properties will be the same for it because we have the same bars that is a 10 mm at the rate 175 center to center along x and y so we'll simply apply this to our footings i can simply apply this on all the footings here or i can also apply on one footing and copy those So I have applied to all the footings of sizes F2. Now for footing sizes F3 also we have the same type of reinforcements. So we'll simply go back to our model and insert footings in our model. So these are the footings of size F3. So the reinforcements have been done. Now if we want to go and check in our 3D view, for example, we'll select our grid Two. So we'll go to back to our windows and then view list and then we'll open grid 2 and then we'll go to views switch to 3D or plane after that we can see that our reinforcements have been applied this is the size of F1 this footing is F2 this is again F3 and this one is F2. All have reinforcement of 10 mm at the rate of 175 mm center to center along the X and Y axis. So friends, in this video, we had seen how to insert reinforcements in our footings as per our structural drawings. So thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to our channel and please do comment below because through your comments, we get to know what topics you are interested in and also share with your friends. Bye.